Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the Lynx Home F Series battery connection. Part 1. Installation of Lynx Home F battery. Make sure battery breaker is turned off before making any further process. Take the battery module and the base out. Put the base cling to the floor and the wall. The arrow needs to point outward. Install the locking bracket at the two sides of base. Mark the drilling positions, then move the base. Drill a hole in the floor, diameter 10 mm and depth 80 mm. Screw the expansion bolts to fix the base. Screw the expansion bolts on both sides. Place the battery module on the base. Install the second to fourth battery modules from bottom to top. Please note the arrow on each battery module need to point outwards. Put the PCU above the installed battery module securely. And install the locking bracket. Mark the drilling hole using a marker, then remove the PCU or locking bracket. Drill a hole in the wall, diameter 10 mm and depth 80 mm. Screw the expansion bolts to fix the PCU. The battery modules within one tower are automatically connected with each other. Part 2. Connection between Lynx Home F battery and ET inverter. Strip off the wire. Crimp the PE cable. Connect the PE cable to the battery according to local safety requirements. Make power cable connectors for the inverter side. Please use the right battery plugs in the accessory box of ET inverter. The cable should be with a conductor cross section of 4 to 6 square millimeter. Strip off the wire for 15 millimeters. Open the spring using a screwdriver if it's locked. Carefully insert the stripped wire, make sure the wire head past the spring. Close the spring until hear a click sound. Push the insert into the sleeve, turn both sides to tighten the connector. Make sure the connector is tight enough. Follow the above steps to make another connector. Then we make power cable connectors for the battery side. Strip off the wire for 33 mm. Then put the connector nut through the cable. Replace the white seal ring inside the power connector with a red seal ring. Fold conductor in half and put it into the copper tube. Then crimp the power cable. Tighten the nut. When the connectors of power cable have been made, follow the above steps to make another connector, too. Then connect the connectors to battery terminals of inverter. And plug it in. And then we connect the other side to the battery power connector on the PCU box. You can use any one of the two power ports of positive negative port. The reserved one should be protected using a cover. Connect the power cable to battery positive and battery negative. After power cables are successfully installed, then connect the BMS cable to the battery. The BMS cable of ET inverter is pre-wired and already connected with the inverter. Thread the cable to the waterproof module. Plug it into the COM port of the battery PCU box, in this place. And tighten the nut. The two communication ports are the same. You can connect the cable to any one of the two communication ports. Remember to connect the terminal resistor to the other port. When the connection between the battery and inverter is done, install the protection cover. When the battery to inverter cable connection is done, turn on the breaker to power on system. That's all for the Lynx Home F Series battery connection. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe Training Series, please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.